to that wall. Does that in frame? Okay, so tape measures are so 2000. No, not really. So now I want to go over a couple of the various functions here. This makes measuring stuff a breeze. Hi guys! So today I have a laser distance measure. I've used them at work a bunch of times, so it's actually super simple to do. I'm gonna link a couple of these down below, some of the faves from Amazon. So next week, I'm going to be posting and sharing how to hand draw a floor plan. So this, we're gonna be using one of these. So go buy yourself one this week, and then next week when you wanna draw a floor plan together with me, we can do it together. Okay, it'll be great. All right, let's um, open this and unbox it. Let's do some, some ASMR stuff. Okay. <laughs> all right, so here it is. You have all of your tools here and you also have a leveler at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna put this in here really quickly. People are gonna be like, well, I have a tape measure. Me too. This makes measuring stuff a breeze. Now my firm use them all the time. Oh my goodness, it's not going in. Can you, okay? I almost lost the camera, can you try? The minute I turn off the recording, I'm gonna get it. Just you wait. You know what, I don't need it. I don't need it. All right, let's get into measuring stuff. So I'm really excited to show you this. I think every architect needs one of these bad boys. This is the laser and this is the laser receiver and that is actually gonna measure your distance. So for this one in particular, I have my on button, my off button, my unit changes. And that's all I really need for my uses. They have more complex ones out there that can measure certain angles and stuff like that. Now there are different measurement modes that will be included on your laser. So I'm gonna power this on. Press this bottom button just to turn off the laser. On this tool specifically, I short press this button here to switch the mode. So here you can see I have the area measurement mode, volume measurement mode, single Pythagorean theorem measurement mode, dual Pythagorean measurement mode, and this just stores all the historical data review mode. Some laser measurement tools are built different, but just know on your device, you probably have various measurement modes. Now, if you can see that, I did just hold this down and it will change my units. So I'm just gonna measure in feet and I need to find a good place to put you and measure. That in frame. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna turn it on. So I press that center button. And as you can see, the screen is pretty like dull. There's nothing there. All I have to do is press that button one more time and the measurement's gonna come up. Laser time. You see, you can see like the laser. Try and keep it level. So I'm gonna smash it up against the wall, making sure that it's level here. And I'm gonna press once. And that is my reading. A good thing to keep in mind is that the measurement does include the length of this whole box. So I always recommend just including it because when you butt it up against that wall, you're good to go. That's your whole distance. This dimension of the actual laser measuring tool, whatever one you purchase, will affect your existing floor plans or whatever you're drawing. So that's why it's important just to make sure that your settings are appropriate and you include whatever the distance of your measurement tool in your final measurement. Now, if for whatever reason you do want to change your reference edge, I'm just gonna power this on. If you see at the top, you can see that line there shows that it is including the distance of the laser measurement tool. I just hold that and there you go. Now, my measurement is not going to include this length. Just the most important thing is, is when you stick it up against the wall, you really do want to just pay attention to your leveling tools. And the same thing is true if it is flat against the surface. So now I want to go over a couple of the various functions here. So I am going to turn it on again and I'm going to adjust the mode and I'm going to find the area of this box. So I'm going to do the first measurement here and the second one here, and I just press that button again. 
And there you have it. You have the area of the box. You can use a similar process to find the actual volume of the box as well. I'm gonna change the mode to find the area of this box. I'm going to repeat the exact same steps I used. And then just for the height, I'm gonna line up my device right here. And there you have it. That is the volume of my box. You can use the Pythagorean function to find the height of things. So I'm gonna turn it on again. I'm gonna switch my mode to the single Pythagorean mode. This is trickier because you need to make sure your levels are level. For this one, I'm going to calculate the height of the baseboard. So I am going to press this, press it at the bottom, and that is the height of my baseboards. And of course, you can change your units. You might need to do this a couple of times just to get the hang of it, but you get the idea here. I wasn't perfect. It's just hard to record this and measure properly at the same time, so I apologize. You can really measure absolutely anything. That was just a quick little demo, and that, that's all you do. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this short and sweet video, and uh, I hope it wasn't too embarrassing to watch. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Love you.